When one Richmond resident was stumped over what to do about an unsafe tree near his home, he turned to duct tape. In an effort to get to the root of this situation, as he waits on action from the city, he's using the tape to keep the tree upright. 8 News reporter Allison Williams is live at that tree in the museum district with a look at his repair method. Allison. Well, Heather, this is a sticky situation. When Ed Williamson noticed what he thinks is an elm tree start to split down the middle, he used what he thought was best to protect his home and used duct tape. We started here and it split further down to here. It's holding the tree together. <laughs> Not really. Duct taping a tree? Richmond resident Ed Williamson says this big guy branched out so much it started to split in the museum district in early August. So you remember when it was planted? Yeah. You've seen it grow. I've seen it grow, yeah. Williamson's not exactly sure why it began to split, but thinks it's because one side is heavier than the other and has more branches. So as a way to keep it from falling, he got crafty and put the duct tape on the tree, along with a sign to warn people about parking underneath it. It doesn't seem to stop people from parking there. Williamson has lived in his home with his wife since 2008 and remembers when the tree was planted. It grew so much over the years that now he feels the tree could be unsafe. It's heavier on this side and lighter on that side, so this is going to pull it. He's not just concerned about cars on the road near Cleveland and Hanover. He's worried about the tree toppling on homes. What what could happen if it falls? Well, if it falls, it's going to fall on these three houses. Williamson says he and his neighbor alerted the city of Richmond about the tree in hopes of getting it chopped down. According to city records, the first request was submitted by his neighbor August 12th, who also made a call August 22nd, and then a third request was submitted on Monday by Williamson himself. And you've been marking it on both sides. We did. He went out on a limb and marked the trunk with a red market where the tree yeah. initially split to keep track of it. Started up here and it's gone down to here. All the way down here, yeah. But the problem splintered as he says the duct tape around it keeps getting tighter and tighter. Signs that the split is growing. I don't go to sleep worrying about it, but uh, you know, every time you come out, you see the split and it's gotten worse. Now, I called the city this morning to get a status update on the tree. They said it is on a removal list, but could not confirm when it would be removed. Live in Richmond, Allison Williams, 8 News.